In this video, we're going to see how we can create our own composite elements. Hi, my name is Stratos, and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Uh, this is a video that I had created uh, about three or four weeks ago, and uh, since the release of the version 3.7 of Oxygen, the alpha, of course, I had to create it from the beginning. So uh, if you have already seen the version 3.7, you will have seen the composite elements and maybe you have seen how it's working. They have a code editor, a code block, and based on that code block, they have added some HTML, some CSS, maybe some JavaScript, and then have created something amazing. And this is a tutorial on how you can create something like that. Now, we're not going to create anything from the start. We're going just to copy and paste uh, already created uh, stuff, pages, uh, buttons, and other things that have uh, created other members of the community of pages and as you will see we have some pages here this is the codepen io we have the uh let's see another page this is the css desk this is the codeply.com and i think i have one or two pages now we will put i will put all of those uh, urls in the description below if anyone knows other th pages like that please add that in the comments so i will add those in the description also so you can check the description and see what you can get now let's see some examples and how you can copy in that uh, you have to know that you may be need you may need to know a little bit of css and uh, html in order to add something to change the colors or anything like that they will not be integrated 100 percent but you can find something very nice and you can see how it works so let's go for the pack first here from the code pen and here let's go for the featured featured bugs and i really like this response timeline using css grid i'm going to open that in a new window and see how it looks now keep in mind that whenever you see JS, uh, javascript it will be some some difficulties to integrate that because some libraries may be missing you have to go and create something new so it will not be very easy but if they just have html and css it will be easy enough for you to copy and paste and maybe change a little bit of uh, thing inside the code. So we're going to copy that. Let's go for the HTML. And as you can see here, it says bug. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to view compiled HTML because this is not HTML. So now that I have HTML compiled, I'm going to copy all of that and I'm going into my uh, test page. I'm going to add a section and then I'm, I'm going to add the code block code block okay code block and then i'm going into the php html and paste uh, the html going to hit apply code and here's the text that i have and let's go for the css okay so this is s css so i'm going to click here and i'm going to view compiled css if you grab just the css the s css it will not work so let's copy that let's go into the uh, primary again css and here i'm going to paste that as you can see i have the same layout now this moment you have seen that it also has a gray uh, background and i have to go into the css and delete something so if you see the body background color it says here for the background color i'm going to delete that so it will not take anything for the background color the font family, I will leave it as it is because I don't really care about the fonts right now. But if you want, you can delete that and change uh, the font family to something else. The font size, it's uh, the font size of the whole thing, of the body, the colors, and the line height. Okay, so I'm going to leave everything as it is. Uh, but you can check out the also the margin that it has and the padding and the max width. Maybe the max width should also be deleted here it will go for the max width of the page uh, let's delete also the wrapper okay so it will go full width or you can change the full width the width of the whole code block and maybe give it a, a little bit of your width that you want some i800 pixel or something of course you can put that in the middle like center and you can change anything inside here so you can go into the php and you can see title a is here title b title c and you can change also the text and if i want to create something else also if i want to create one or two more cards let's go for uh, to copy that so you will need to know a little bit of html but not very much you can maybe have a little bit of logical thinking and uh, 
understand how it works. So I have to go and paste that here. And here I'm going to title that test or something. So let's go for test. Test so we know what it is. Let's apply code. And I will see the test right here. So I, I need to go into the CSS now. And I have to check how it's working. So let's go and see uh, what we have. We have the timeline. We have the timeline before, the timeline entry. And then we have something for the entry before okay and then we have the support display grid okay this is the grid and this is how it's been displayed this is the max width so we have the entry one two three four five so we need a six here and as you can see we have dot entry and then entry dot with the quota so we have dot entry and then we need an entry dot something like that so i'm going to copy that and i'm going here leave a space and i'm going to paste that so we have entry dot after the here and I'm going to put here six. So we have the entry six. So it's dot entry and entry dot. And here we have dot entry five and entry six dot. Okay. Then we have timeline entry with the child elements and we need another child element. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it down here. So I'm going to put here six. And inside here I need to put also six. I'm going to hit apply code and now. Let's see. Okay, and so as you can see, the test is uh, went down here. It has the number six now, and it's working fine. And also, if you want, you can change also the colors here, the color here, and anything else that you want to change. And this is how easily it can be done. Of course, some other person had already done that, and maybe we can thank him out. Let's see if we know who he is. Okay, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's Diana Cheng. So thanks for this uh, layout. It's very nice. It's a very nice layout. So let's go back to the uh, code pen. I really like this website. Let's go for a button. So I'm going to for a button. And let's see some buttons. So we have some 3D button here. Let's go and see how it looks. Okay, and this is how it looks. And when you hover, it will go, just go and hide a little bit. So let's copy that also. Let's go back here. I'm going to delete this uh, code block and I'm going to add a new, a new one. Code block, let's go into the HTML. Let's paste that. Okay, obviously the text will be learned more, but you can change that. And let's go back to the 3D button and let's uh, click here. Let's go for compile CSS. Okay, and copy that. And let's go back here and paste the CSS. Okay, and as you can see, we have the same button here. Obviously, we have also some uh, uh, CSS for the body, but we can delete that also. And this is how it looks right now. The body looks great, but the page doesn't. So let's see how we can fix that. Let's go and see the body has a font family, font size, uh, K line height, display, display flex. I'm going to delete the body, uh, the whole body here. And I'm going to apply code and I'm going to refresh here the page. Let's refresh once more. Okay, it's not working. Let's save that again, apply code. Refresh again. Okay, and see we have also to uh, the import CSS uh, family uh, rubric. Okay, this is the uh, font family. Okay, we have some borders here. Now maybe I need to go into uh, this and check how they look, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that in uh, this video. Let's go for another one and let's see what else we can find. Let's go for a progress bar or something. Let's go for a progress bar. And we're going to grab this one. The simple animated progress bar let's see if it has uh, javascript we're going to leave it for something else yes i don't want to play with javascript at this video 
it has some work to be done. Let's go for something like that. I think this is not something that is moving. Yeah, it's more of a static version. So let's copy that. Let's go back here and delete that block. Let's save that and see if the page is working. So uh, the page, for some reason, it's not. Let's save that again. Okay, so let's go back to this page and I'm going to add another code block. Paste the HTML, apply. Okay, and then let's go back to uh, where were we? Uh, we were here, so let's go for the CSS. Let's copy that and let's go back here. CSS and let's paste that. So we have something like this. How we can fix that? So we have a background inner padding, padding. This is the max width, but it's a relative to the div that we have because it's EM. Uh, P bar. So we don't have this size, I think, for the code block. So let's go for sizing and spacing. Let's go for uh, 600 width yeah it was the width of the code black so as you can see you have something uh, like this and it's easily created you don't have to search and do anything else someone else has created that for us and we just went and copied that so you can check the pages you can find something and maybe you can put that in your page and create something unique so uh I'm not going to do anything else, I think. That's all for this video. Hope you like it. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like that. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.